Hi everyone. Uh, sorry this is not uh, an Excel video, but um, I just needed somewhere to get this video up online. So really hoping that I can help some other people with this. So uh, this is uh, implementing Google Recapture version 3 um, on a PHP based website. Um, there seems to be a whole load of tutorials out there, loads of stuff on Stack Overflow, um, but they all do it wrong. Um, and I'll tell you the reason why. The first thing I want to show you is what you're going to see out there if you do searches for how to implement uh, Google Capture 3 onto your PHP website. You're going to get, um, so I mean VS Code here, um, this is just boilerplate, um, this is absolutely not finished code whatsoever, um, so don't have a go at me for that, and this is just to show you what you need uh, in order to get Google Recapture working. So what you're going to see uh, in the head is you're going to see a script tag. Um, that uh, gives you the recapture API and then this render on the end and they're going to tell you, you you need the render on the end. Then what you'll see next um, also within your head just after this, it's got to be after, um, is the G recapture ready and the G recapture execute um, and uh, that, that is the easiest way of implementing it but what this doesn't do is it doesn't get around recapture's two minute time limit so if you look in the documentation for recapture, I'll link it below, um, is the token times out after two minutes. Um, so if you're using this, uh, say for example, what we're doing here is to, to protect a, a login form. Um, if you have this script, this second script here uh, within the head, what it does is as soon as uh, the G recapture ready, as soon as recapture is ready, it executes um, the the script that grabs the token and the token's a great big long string of characters um, and and at that point it starts your two minute timer so if your person hasn't uh, hit the the you know the login button or the go button the whatever you call it on your on your form within two minutes you get the the recapture error for um, token expiry and that is because you've set that token going right when you load the page because you put this script um, into the head um, of your page. And that's what everyone tells you to do. Um, they, they tell you that you need to call this separately, but they don't tell you how you do it. They all say you do it this way. Um, and I say this will fail your token time limit of two minutes. So this is what you're going to see. You're going to see that. And then further down the form, they will have an input type equals hidden um, blah -de blah um, and that's how they tell you to implement it. As I say, this doesn't work. What I've got to work instead is this, and we're going to go through it. So what you do in the head, you do have the same script source equals, um, and then the recapture API, but you don't have the render element on the end. Okay, so don't add the render element on the end, just the uh, source like that. And then the next script is completely different. And what this script is going to do, we'll see in a minute, is effectively it only activates the token when we submit the form. OK, sorry, right click there by mistake. It only activates the token when you click on the form. So the token doesn't activate uh, when the page loads and sets that two minutes going. It doesn't do it until they click on, on the form button. And that's going to get around this issue. So first script is the recapture API. The second script is just the, this little function to grab the token when you submit the form. Now this, like it is, is on the uh, Google Recapture version three um, page for how they suggest to implement it. So, so far, all we're doing is copying the implementation off of um, their instructions. And then uh, within the body of your page, you've got your form, uh, give it an ID, um, and then all your standard inputs, um, forget the hidden inputs that they tell you to use, don't worry about those, the other tutorials. So just do your standard inputs, name, password, username, whatever it is. And then on your button, um, give it an ID, and then this again is straight out of the Google um, suggested implementation. So you give your button the class, the data site key is going to be your site key. Uh, the data callback on submit, that is what matches that one there on your, your script in your head. 
and then uh, the action, and the, in this case, we're doing a login. Um, so we're going to call the action login. This is important here as well. Uh, Google tell you that you need to validate your data action properly. So data action login. So copy that as it is um, and put that and those two scripts into your web page. Now the PHP side of it, it's up to you if you want to handle this on a separate page or on the same page, it doesn't matter. But for ease here, I've got it on the same page. So up here, I've got my PHP script. Um, let's go through this. So PHP, session start, nothing um, unusual there. Um, so server request post, that's you know, just to, again, nothing unusual there, just to, uh, to activate when someone clicks the actual button. And then um, this, uh, I've worked out how to do this as a combination of another tutorial I did follow, which gave me part of it. Um, but this is the bit that Google don't tell you. Um, what, what this down here actually does in combined with that is simply to get you your user token, i.e. the token that this user generates uh, when they click the uh, login button, the button down here, or of course a bot is trying to access your site, but it generates the user. All that does is to generate the token. What the Google page doesn't tell you is how you, what you actually do with that token. Um, and this is the bit that took me ages to work out how to do it. And this is what we do. So within your if uh, for your server request is post, you wanna, this, uh, as I said, this is how I did it. You can tweak it for you, but this is how I did it. Uh, I set a variable for the recapture URL, um, which is the correct URL from Google. Uh, my recapture secret key. So down here, you had your site key, which is your public key. Um, up here, you have, because it's within your PHP coding, it's not visible, you have your secret key. And then the rec what a variable I've called recapture response, which is then just the dollar post from your form of G recapture response and again this this bit is on um, another page on google's help not quite the same page but um uh that's uh, so that gets you your actual response um from um sorry not the response the token then we got a variable for for recapture is a file get contents php um, and it just strings together the bits of the url and the bits we need and then uh, I redeclare that as the actual response back from Google. So JSON decode. So you're decoding that um, and then True gives you the correct format. So that um, allows you to get back the response from Google based on the inputs. Um, and then I've got another if uh, to test whether my response is what I want it to be. So um, if recapture success is one, um, I, that's how it returns as one and zero as um, successful Google recapture, um, the score, and then the action. Um, and so uh, the response, the success has to be correct, true, has to be one. So I'm testing if success is one. And the score, I, I've in this case, I've done greater or equal to 0 0.5. Uh, the documentation tells you that um, 0, 0.0 is almost certainly a bot and 1.0 is almost certainly a perfect human being. So values between 0 and 1. Um, so you choose what uh, what success rate you want. I, I've pretty much found that um, Google will give you a response of 0 0.9 for valid human beings. Um, so you can test as high as, you can validate as high as 0 0.9. Um, but it's up to you what you go for. So just set a value in there. And make sure your Google recapture action here um, is specified to be the same as the value you put in down here. OK, so um, you're telling it login down here and you're validating that it's actually come back properly as login here. So those are the three tests you need to test for your uh, recapture response. And if all of those are acceptable, um, then put your code to actually do your login, however you do it um, at this point. And then you've got an else uh, here, uh, um, and that is any one of those three tests failed. Um, you need to redirect to some variety of, of PHP error somehow um, and check which one of those it is that failed, whether it's the success, the uh, score or the action. 
um, and um, you know, I'd tell people as appropriate um, what you want them to do in each of whichever, depending on which one is failed. Um, and that is it. I mean, it doesn't look an awful lot, um, but it took me ages to work out how to get this to actually work properly um, and not to fail the two minute token time limit. And this now works for me um, with just this implementation. So two scripts in your head, your form uh, with its ID and the button with its uh, Google recapture stuff. And then the PHP script um, that actually uh, gets the response from Google using your inputs um, and then testing that response if it's valid or not and logging in if it is. So um, hopefully that's uh, been some use to you. Um, and uh, yeah, again, sorry, it's not an Excel video, but just wanted to get this up there somewhere um, just so that it, and I hope it helps some more people save all the pain that I went through last night. Okay, guys, that's it for now. Take care. See you soon.